Welcome to episode three, everyone, and I want to try to make this really quick. Uh, as in episode one, I said I wasn't all that happy with the app, um, partially because I didn't think it was working. I thought maybe I installed it improperly, and I'm going to go through this uh, app installation and uh, what the issues were. And for some of you, it's going to be super helpful. Uh, anyway, the first thing you need to do, I have my unit already over... Uh, at my router but the first thing you need to do I'll just use this diagram that's on the box here comes with an Ethernet cable plug that into your uh, household uh, wireless router or your router uh, it's just an Ethernet cable comes with it plug it into the back of your Lorex system that's the first thing you want to do okay and on the system it takes about 40 seconds and if it doesn't show up in 40 seconds just power down your Lorex system but right up here in the corner or sort of in the middle I guess to the left there's an icon hopefully you can see this um, right here and when it's not hooked up it's red when it's trying to hook up it turns yellow when you have connectivity uh, to your Lorex system it turns green that's the very first thing you want to do even before you get the app uh, loaded or whatever uh, get that hooked up and make sure you have connectivity um, and then the next thing you want to do is Go and get the app. Now, this is part of the difficulty. Um, for you iPhone users, I don't know if it's going to be a big issue, but for an iPad user, this is an iPad 2, it was a big issue, in my mind, anyway. Um, I don't know if you can see this. All you do, you want to get the Lorax SD Pro app. So you type it into your search. You're at the App Store. You type it into your search, and all the Lorax apps, uh, you know, they show up. There's, uh, there's many different ones for different systems, but oddly the uh, Lorax SD Pro app is not showing up. So that was the first little hiccup. And then I realized, well the app says for iPad and iPhone, but it's really an iPhone app. And your iPad's going to de default to uh, iPad only. So down, click the little iPad only thing, switch it over to iPhone. And right away it's going to come up. There's your Lorex uh, SD Pro app. So just uh, download that and then uh, open the app. And once you get it open, uh, I'm not going to show you how to do it. The instructions that come with it are very straightforward in case you don't have the instructions. Um, I'll just run through it really quick. Uh, basically, um, so you download the app and then once you open it it's going to say well tap add device so you click on the add device and then it's going to ask you to enter in the uh, QR code you can scan this code, it's on the back of the Lorex unit or you can manually type in, there's a number down down below depending on what's, what works best for you so it's really straightforward this part, this wasn't my issue, the app setup was fine uh, It's self-explanatory in the little instructions they give you okay so that first issue was a finding the app we, we resolved that and now <clears throat> this is the next big issue again I don't know what an iPhone I don't have an iPhone so I'm gonna open up the uh, the Lorex app just takes a second and in the device list I, I'm just not gonna show you directly because it has my code information but anyways it uh, once you get the app up and running I'm just gonna open up my camera system now so anyways this is what comes up this is actually a picture of my uh, basement it's in night vision right now and so this is what get, you get presented with initially I have four cameras um, but the app you can't do anything and you're it's confusing you're well, what's wrong with it um, so then I turned it this way and I thought maybe something would happen but nothing did and then I tried it this way and no no nothing's happening so I just let it sit I said ah, I don't know about this app and then so I tried it again a few days later did some more fooling around and then I turned it this way and well now you have all the uh, menu information <laughs> um, so basically now it has to you know the little button that's on your iPhone or iPad it's down here it needs to be down I guess on this one the camera is up 
Uh, anyways, so now you can go and look at your different cameras. I won't go through all the cameras here, but getting the idea. Uh, take a look at outside here. So there's your cameras. Uh, that's uh, all great and dandy. Another nice little feature. Um, so you can be anywhere uh, in the world, whatever, and look at your system, provided it's hooked up to your uh, your uh, your your uh, router. But you can also listen to uh, the speaker. Um, might not be able to hear hear anything on here, but you can hear sounds outside. Um, and the other thing you can do, if the speaker is activated, if someone speaks, say you saw some motion, you'll get an alert. Uh, on your iPad or iPhone and if they're there and the speakers on you can actually talk to them you just press the mic button here and say whatever you have to say and then remember you have to click it off otherwise the mic is live and you won't be able to hear them so you just to talk you just click on the mic and say hello 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 click off the mic speaker comes back on and you can talk Okay, and the other nice uh, feature with the app, now that I have it working, um, just a second here, press back, and you can go to events, and you can look at recordings, um, so this is a past recording, I'm not sure what's going to be on here, but there you go, oh, there's something going by, voila, get back, So basically, I mean, that's the that's the rundown of the app. It does seem to work pretty good, so I'm I'm really happy about that. I was really worried about it earlier and thinking it was just a horrible app, and a lot of people have rated it very poorly, but maybe they were having the same troubles that I was having. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, everyone, have a great day.